Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to find the value of A and B in this nice system of equations where we have A plus B equals 6 and AB equals 36. So to solve this, we consider this as equation 1 and we consider this as equation 2. Then from equation 1, we have A plus B equals 6 so we have to make another equation another new equation here and suppose i want to get the value of a text here we consider by making b the subject of the formula so by doing that we have b equals 6 and we transfer it to other side so we have this as equation 3 then we replace this b in equation 2 with what we have here in equation 3 as we have a into bracket of 6 minus a equals 36. Then, by expanding the parentheses with this a, we have a multiplied by 6. That gives us 6a minus a multiplied by a. We get a squared equals 36. So, here we have the rearrangement of this as is a quadratic equation actually so we have to rearrange it properly by letting this minus a squared start this equation so we have minus a squared so here comes with plus 6a then we take this one here as minus 36 everything equals 0 so here is a negative and uh, we don't we want to avoid having negative to start this equation so what we do here is by multiplying through by negative as we have minus into bracket of minus a square plus 6a minus 36 equals 0. So next we have minus multiplied by minus we have plus a square minus 6a plus 36 equals 0. So we have a full quadratic equations for this and we know that by solving this we are going to apply quadratic formula and which is not really necessary because i want to avoid having a coincidence of a coincidence of mistake with a and the a in the quadratic formula so this is why i'm going to divide this one by two then i raise it to the power of two add it to this and subtract it to this equation which is a completing the square method so here we have a squared minus 6a plus 3 squared plus 36 minus 3 squared equals 0. So plus 3 squared minus 3 squared are the additional values we added to this and subtract it to this. So which is still the same thing with what we have here. Then by combining this together with negative. So here is a minus 3 to the power of 2. So, which is still the same thing with these three entries. Plus, we have 36 minus 3 squared. It gives us 9 equals 0. So, here we have a minus 3 to the power of 2. Plus, so when we subtract 9 from, uh, when we subtract 9 from 36, so we are going to get something around 20. 7 then everything equals 0 so the next thing that follows this is we have to transfer this one to other sides as we have a minus 3 to the power of 2 equals minus 27 so next we have the taking of the square root of both sides so avoid having square here. So by doing that, we have a minus 3 equals plus or minus square root of minus 27. So here we have a equals, we take 3 to other sides as we have 3 plus or minus the square root of, so we have to separate this as square root of minus 1 multiplied by square root of 9 multiplied by 3. So here we have a equals 
3 plus or minus anytime we have square root of minus 1 we consider it as iota multiplied by so we also separate this as root 3 multiplied by root 9 so here we have a equals 3 plus or minus so square root of 9 it gives us 3 then with multiplying by i root 3 so here is the solution to a and also we have to obtain the solution to b by considering from equation 3 which says b equals 6 minus a then by replacing the value of a here which is the whole of this as b equals 6 minus open bracket 3 plus or minus 3i root 3 so then we have b equals 6 by open this we have minus 3 so minus we multiply plus as this is minus minus multiply minus we have it as plus 3i root 3 so we have this finally as 6 minus 3 that gives us 3 minus plus 3i root 3 so this is the other solutions for b and the value of a as well that is when a is 3 plus 3i root 3 we have b which is 3 minus 3i root 3 and also when we have a which is 3 minus 3i root 3 we have b which is 3 plus 3i root 3 and this is how we are done with this problem thanks for watching and i hope you learned something today and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell for more video see you in the next class never stop learning bye bye